Welcome to the Tada Craft Area. Today, I'm here with our good friend, Dustin Curry. The Dustin Curry on YouTube. Today, I'm teaching you a great craft project. I'm teaching you how to make a pinwheel. Now, these can be practical pinwheels where you can poke a hole and actually let the wind blow it around and spin, or they can be great decorations for bulletin boards, kids' parties, I'm gonna teach Dustin how to do it right now. That guy. First, you take your paper. Now, you can use all kinds of paper. This is just some scrapbooking sort of hard stock. With this kind of paper, we're using hot glue in order to, to hold it down. With lighter weight paper, you could use um, just regular stick glue or Elmer's glue, but you gotta put a pin through it to hold it down. Um, Another easy thing to do is to take Christmas wrapping paper, take two different kinds, like maybe this kind, another kind that has polka dots, glue them back to back with spray adhesive. Once they've dried, you have a print or image on both sides when you make this thing. So in our case, we only have print on one side. You can also, if you find at garage sales and uh, thrift stores, you could find old sheet music and use that too. It's really cool. Okay, Dustin, you ready? I'm ready. So you take a piece of paper. You need a square. I'm a square. So we're gonna fold this piece of paper. This rectangular piece of paper. Yes. And you're gonna fold it in kind of a triangle so that you get a triangle and then you have a little piece of rectangle here, which you're gonna cut that off and leaves a square. We're gonna cut off this rectangle right here. Close your scissors. And what you get it's a square. Next, we're gonna fold this again this way. Okay. So that what you get is kind of a folded X on the paper. Just like that. There it is, awesome. Now, what you're gonna do is cut along the folded area to about an inch away from the center. And then stop cutting. And then do the next one. And the next one. And the next one. So you get something that looks like this. Now, we'll take you down to the bench to show you how we glue it and put it all together. Okay, Dustin, so what we're doing now is we're gonna, we're gonna put a little dab of glue right in the center. All right. Now this is hot glue, so it's gonna be hot. All right, dab me. Dab, you've been dabbed. I have been dabbed. Now, you're gonna take one corner and you're gonna bend it, don't fold it, bend it to where you overlap the center. I'm gonna press down. Press down. Okay. Press then we're gonna put another dab of hot glue right there in the center on top of that corner, just a dab. And we're gonna take the same corner. Think of bending the paper, not folding it, because you want it to stay round. Okay. We'll turn the thing, put another dab of glue right there. Ooh, hot. It's hot glue. And one last time, and we put this one here over there, kind of hold it down. Make sure that it's bent and not folded. Bent. And then you get that, a pinwheel. So now what you could do is you could take a push pin and stick through this or a mat pin, poke that through a straw and you'd have actual pinwheel that will actually catch the wind and turn around and it's a lot of cool things. But of course they'll look great. Imagine several of these with like some burlap kind of ribbon on a wreath or a tree for Christmas. That would be awesome. Ta-da! Uh, ta Bye. Ta-da, yeah, come ta on! Ta-da! Ta ta Dustin, it's called a hot glue gun because it's very, very uh, hot. Hot, hot. Don't touch it. It's hot, hot. Don't. It's hot. Very hot. <laughs>